guys, Laura from Hedgehog's Homestead here. Today, I'm gonna do something I told everybody I wasn't gonna do. But plans change sometimes, and with our current climate, um, I thought I need to take this step. And what I'm, what my, I was gonna wait until next year for um, is doing some gardening. Um, I've done gardening in the past, I'm a gardener, but I was waiting a whole year just because we were going to wait to start on our land and not do anything in this rural environment that we live in um, so we wouldn't have to move it. But plans change. So what I'm going to do here, I have this nice bowl and I got these new because I threw away my all my other ones. Um, nice trays, where the, they're harder plastic. And I used to buy those cheaper ones, um, and they weren't working, but I got rid of them because I didn't think that they'd transport well because they're so thin. And then these have these nice bottoms where you can push in and push the plant out when it's ready. So I'm gonna start some tomatoes and peppers um, in here. And um, because they have to be in there for a good long time. And I got out my lights and I just ordered some more heating pads because I have no idea. That's another reason why all our stuff is in the garage as we're building our homestead. Um, because the, the, the soil out there isn't ready here either. And so we're going to just try to do this thing and make this a smaller garden this year and maybe I can learn some things along the way as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get my dirt in my bag or in my nice big bowl that I usually use for canning. Um, and I brought the Pro, Pro Mix which is good for all kinds of different things but I've never used this mix before so what I'm doing right now I have a teapot uh, heating up inside and I'm going to cut open this Pro Mix, fill this bowl up with soil and then um, put that hot boiling tea pot in there of water. Um, not the whole thing, just enough to cover it and then it will kill any bacteria in the soil that I don't want. Um, I don't always do that but I've never used this soil before so I don't know what's in it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and show you how I do that. And then I do have a bunch of grow bags to put my tomato plants in. Um, and then I have these. These are just shoe pockets and or organizers. And so I'm going to hang them up on the fence behind us here. And I can do a lot of lettuce, maybe some strawberries and things like that in these little pockets there. So I'm going to also start lettuce in the next couple days here because it is March and that's when you start lettuce in this area. Sorry. We are in zone 8A and so that's what um, here in Tennessee and so that is when we're going to plant our soil. So I have two of those so I can get lots of lettuce and lots of little things that will grow that can grow in those little pockets um, in those little pockets and then I'm going to do probably four or five tomato plants and then the rest are going to be peppers or um, maybe um, an eggplant. I think I'm going to try some um, didn't work really, really good off in, uh, in Oregon, but here in Tennessee, I think I can grow loofah seeds, or loofah, and then we'll do some watermelon and so on and so forth. So um, <clears throat> another thing I couldn't grow in Oregon, but it gets hot enough here and we get enough sun here. So um, yay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so excited to grow some new things. So come along with me on my journey as we get this it's done. Fluffy. I'm gonna have to get something to mix this up with. And you wanna mix your soil to the point where it will hold together. That's all the moisture you want in it. 
So if I grip this up, oh, it's very hot, and it holds together, and just a couple drops come out, that's where you want your seed mix, or your, so your soil for your seed mix to start at. very hot so I'm avoiding to put my hand in there. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Okay, got my tray here, just start packing in. You don't want it packed too tight, but you do want it packed in there. Because if you pack it too tight, the seedling won't be able to get out. your finger down each cell so you can see how they're packing in and you'd be really surprised how much you don't have in there yet that's why you put your fingers down each cell okay so I bought a couple seeds but most of these are seeds that I already had so I have these um, blue beauties from Baker Creek And put about okay got three starts of those just going to gently push them in there throw some dirt over them barely okay and then we have um, our tomato sweeties. We love our cherry tomatoes around here, especially from the land or the backyard in this case. We'll get two of those going. And then I'm not even worrying about marking these. Okay, we have these um, lemon spice jalapenos. I th I'd wanted I wanted to check those out, so I'm gonna do two plants of those. Okay, and that's all the hot peppers I'm going to do this year. 
Um, and then I have these heirloom um, California Wonder Bells. Um, and they're just bell peppers. Interesting thing, if you're growing bell peppers, know that all of them start out green and then they change colors. So if you have a green bell pepper and you're like, wait a minute, I planted red ones, wait a little while longer and they will turn red. Okay, and I think the rest of these are just going to be bell peppers because my mother -in -law loves peppers, we like peppers, I like to just snack on them. And they won't produce as much as the potato tomatoes. So in here, oops, there was a pepper seed that was really dark. Your pepper seed should be whitish or tan. If you have a dark pepper seed like that, it's not fertile, most likely. If it's all you have, go ahead and plant it and try it, but most likely that's not gonna grow for you. So, okay. There we go. Now I have squash here, which I love to use. I'm gonna grow them in here. I'm gonna do a whole. Because these are small, so. And they're gonna go a little deeper than these. Okay. So there. Go. I'm going to do some lufa seeds. So that's going to be my next row, loofahs. And of course, back on the homestead, I have my special spray bottle that I would spray. So I'll bring it back here. So that's a row of loofahs. Excited about trying those out here. And let's see what else I have here. Let's do some bunch of cucumbers. Oops. We have some basil seeds. Oregano. So let's do those. Got some herbs here. These are really, really tiny seeds. So what you're going to do with these is just kind of sow them. I just kind of open the bag up and gently sprinkle them because of course they're brown too. So you're not even going to see if they're on there. And that's good enough for them. Basil seeds. This last row is going to be basil. Love growing basil. Okay. 
see what else we have in here. So that one's full as well. Here's some rosemary seed. So we'll start some rosemary. Okay, that's empty. Some parsley seeds here. Parsley's great to throw on top of all kinds of foods. And it's great in soups. Okay, so there's my parsley, and then we have just gonna grow stuff. So I think that's all I'm gonna grow out of there. Let's do some kale. I would do spinach, but it's kind of late for kale, but that's okay. Okay. Now with these small seeds like this, you literally just want to throw a little dirt over them or move the dirt around them so they're on top of them. Um, and that's all you do. For the seeds like, um, like this, um, the loofah seeds and the cucumber seeds, um, you want to put them about um, half an inch down. Um, it depends the size of the seed. So you do the size of the seeds time two, basically. With most seeds, um, look on the back of your packages always though, and that's always worked for me. We'll see you next time. And um, we'll get some heating pads on here. It doesn't need lights yet, but we need heating pads. And we'll set this all up and we'll show you that later. But this is how you plant seeds. We'll see you next time, and God bless. Have a hedgy day. Bye.